LDPE is a common packaging plastic and it's marked with the number 4 on the resin coat. Its lesser known counterpart, MDPE, is marked with the same number because sharing is caring and confusing. Both LDPE and MDPE are recyclable. LDPE stands for low density polyethylene. It's similar to HDPE, high density polyethylene, except it's less dense, which makes it less rigid, softer, and stretchier. In between HDPE and LDPE, there's MDPE, which stands for, you've guessed it, Modern Dancing Penguin Emperors. It can also sometimes stand for medium density polyethylene, uh, which given the context, that might make a little more sense. Anyway, these polyethylenes, HDPE, MDPE, and LDPE, are some of the most widely used plastics in the world. Low density polyethylene is both squeezable and tough. In fact, in addition to being used for jars and bottles, LDPE is used for cling wrap and plastic grocery bags. Also, containers made of LDPE have an incredible drop resistance, and they can withstand some pretty tough handling without cracking or stressing. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Does It Blend? <laughs> We take everyday objects, like your cell phone, so we don't have budget for that. So we opted for an LDP bottle and put them to the test! Now, summer! Versatile, strong, downright gorgeous. Oh! Ah, 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 no! Hold on! Oh! oh to my dismay, it doesn't get it. Oh, that's a soft bottle. Okay, so maybe not that rough, but pretty rough. Despite its flexible characteristic, containers made from LDPE still retain their shape very well. LDPE's natural color is a cloudy, semi-translucent color. And beyond this natural look, LDPE can be created in any opaque color, and a few translucent ones too. Commonly stocked colors include natural, black, and white, though many other colors can be created. Common uses for LDPE include sauce and honey bottles, eye drop containers, and any other packaging that needs to be easily squeezed by the user. It usually tolerates temperatures between negative 100 degrees and 150 degrees Fahrenheit. It's easy and inexpensive to manufacture, it's lightweight and stretchy, and like HDPE, LDPE is also BPA free. Of course, you should always test your packaging solutions to make sure that they're compatible with your product and they meet your individual needs. That said, though tough and squeezy, this material does have its limits. LDPE is not usually suitable for large containers or heavy contents due to its soft nature. It also is not recommended for products that contain solvents or potent oils. Other plastics, such as HDPE or PET, or even glass or aluminum, might be better for these kinds of products. Lastly, HDPE is semi-porous, which makes it a poor gas barrier and a poor choice for products prone to evaporation. However, solutions such as fluorination exist that can help with this. If you have more questions about LDPE or MDPE, or if you'd like to see a sample, please contact us and we'd love to help.